ಮಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದಂದ ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗಮವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗ್ರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರ ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧಾನುಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೋ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಪಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
प्रिय स्वरूप है द्वैत स्वरूप है प्रेम स्वरूप है सहजावी रूप है निजान रूप है प्रभुरेक रूप है ततान रूप है सविलास रूप है प्रिय स्वरूप है द्वैत स्वरूप है प्रेम स्वरूप है सहजावी रूप है निजान रूप है प्रभुरेक रूप है ततान रूप है सविलास रूप है गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वी एक्चुअली वी एक्चुअली हैव टू हेयर रूप रघुनाथ कथा विद फुल विद फुल एंथुजियास्टिक मूड वी हैव टू प्रीच दैट मे बी दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एवरी पर्सन ऑल दर्सन इन दटीरियल वर्ल्ड दे कैन जस्ट स्पीक they can't be able to take this uh, things from you but still with full enthusiastic mood this uh, roop ragunath vani this you have to preach in front of them just go on preaching that gaudiya goshti pati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramesh jagat guru told that you just need to preach the roop ragunath vani with full enthusiastic mood you have to preach that maybe some people all this material world all the people actually they are actually not taking this hari katha but still with full enthusiastic mood you just need to preach that in front of this material world mostly people are not take, taking that but still this very expensive thing a lot uh, very rare people they are just taking you with you those don't need to take tension about that but just go on preaching that and shriman mahaprabhu and that mahaprabhu has a very priya swarup very beautiful swarup shriman mahaprabhu the swarup of mahaprabhu that priya swarup of mahaprabhu that is very dear to mahaprabhu that is actually devotees in this we can just get the prakash of devotees that atma swarup that atma swarup uh, in which is there uh, near mahaprabhu that prem swarup that his prem mai swarup that is prem swarup and sahajadi roop means that that is which is natural swarup naturally it is there like what that the actual beautiful natural swarup of roop ko swami pad that nijan roop means that in prem prakash vishay in that when he is just uh, prem is getting manifested that is actually shila roop ko swami pad and there is another roop that actual roop and sa vilas roop that that nij swarup just in order to get that vilas that called that is called roop ko swami pad nij swarup so this roop ko swami pad it mahaprabhu actually coming in roop ko swami pad is just giving the ras vichar of all the bhakti shastra and shri thakur maharaj narottam das thakur has just taken the, the dust particle from the lotus feet of rupa goswami and he is just giving he is just taking shelter onto the lotus feet of rupa goswami and he is just uh, taking uh, want to take shelter of rupa goswami path at his lotus feet and kaviraj goswami also he always used to speak this shloka regarding rupa ragunath and uh, ragunath das goswami pad also has written i have already discussed it before as well that dust particle that from the lotus feet of rupa goswami pad the actual glorification of that prabhupad actually just speaking about the glorification when actually we are just taking that dust particle we can have the darshan of that beautiful dust particle of lotus feet of shila rupa goswami uh, inside us then at that time what will happen what is our actual beautiful swarup of our atma that will get manifested definitely we can get that darshan our just external uh, very dirty swarup we can just understand and mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu also has just uh, has just praying to bhagwan shri krishna about this that our actual goal the topmost lok for all those gaudiya bhajan devotees 
that in birth after birth that is our only desire to get the dust particle of the lotus feet of Srila Rup Goswami Pada. That is the actual target of our Gaudiyamat devotees. Srila Prabhupada actually all the time is speaking this point regularly that what is the actual pathway of Bhagavad Darshan? What is the actual pathway of Bhagavad Darshan? How we can have that Bhagavad Darshan? That is the topmost question in this uh, Kalikal, in this modern world. Especially nowadays. It is a, why? Because that millions and millions of thorns are there in uh, the pathway of Bhakti. There are crores of millions of uh, thorns are there all in all the four direction and in this uh, way we just need to go towards that lotus feet of Krishna. It is very very difficult. And Bhagwan Prabhupada actually speaking that Bhagwan Shri Hari is a Nirguna Vastu, he is Mayatid Vastu, he is away from all the material modes of nature. Still he is in Maya, but Bhagwan in in Maya uh, we can't do any service of Bhagwan and we can't have darshan of Bhagwan. When we are just getting out of these three modes of material nature, Maya, we just can have that uh, touch with that Nirgun Vastu, we can get in touch. Before that it is not possible. Bhagwan Shri Hari is actually Nirgun Vastu, Mayatit Vastu and in order to get in touch with that Nirgun Vastu, there is actually no other way to meet him apart from just to get oral reception from that exact source. That is the only pathway, only way out. From the Paramahan Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, from their lotus mouth, if we are just hearing that Aparakrit Vaikunthwani, that is the that is actually very uh, so much power is there inside this vani what is coming from their lotus mouth and that vakunt shabd the word, word actually when coming in our ears definitely our consciousness will get rapid increment definitely it will be done if it uh, definitely it will be done but before that if if a lot of aprad is there or because of some previous uh, karma what you have done Prabhupada speaking that when you are actually hearing from the lotus mouth of uh, pure Guru Vaishnava that Vakunth Vandu but still you are not getting any result it means that surely there is a prad before inside his heart before that he has a prad inside his heart because of a prad his, his, uh, his nourishment of consciousness is just uh, uh, stopped otherwise all those pure Guru Vaishnav, these Vishuddha Vaishnavs, from their lotus mouth, if we are the, this melted Aprakrit uh, Vakunthwani, that has uh, enormous power. And so much power it has, that this Vakunth Shabd, when it's coming in our ear, definitely our consciousness will get rapid increment. Krishna Vimukhata, that there is Krishna Munukhuk, it is not a pathway of Krishna, we will get Krishna Unmukh. So that word which is coming from that Vakunt Jagat, that word which is coming from that Vakunt Jagat to this material world has just descended on this material world. When it is coming inside our ears, uh, how actually it is getting uh, uh, manifested? That Vakunt Shabd actually get manifested, descended down to this material world through the lotus mouth of the Paramhans pure Vaishnav, this tongue of their pure pure Aprakrit tongue, from that it is coming from there, that Aprakrit Shabda Brahm. And after that when it is coming from their tongue, it uh, automatically comes inside our ears through oral reception. That is the actual rules. And after that, we are just all kind of material bondage just got uh, destroyed automatically. It just cut all the barriers of this material world and it just taking us to that vacuum level. That's why it is written in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. Why? That's why it is written. That all those pure Guru Vaishnav, their Vani has so enormous power. That Ukti bhi means that Vani bhi. This Vani has so much power. When it is coming inside our ears, definitely we will get some power. A Prakrit power. It is not at all possible. We will not get that. Srila 
रूप को स्वामी पाद शीला जीव को स्वामी पाद ऑल्सो हैज रिटर्न इन द संदर्भ दैट बाई डूइंग साधु संघ डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट रिजल्ट डेफिनेटली विल गेट रिजल्ट If you don't have any aprad before, by you will get the fruit of sadhu sang. That it is inevitable. In bhakti sandarb, in bhakti sandarb, Shila Jeev Goswami Pad actually writing uh, about the glorification of Bhagwat. In the language of Bhagwat, what is the actual fruit of sadhu sang? He has told there, and Shila Jeev Goswami Pad has written that by sadhu sang, what is uh, what will happen? By sadhu sang, that vyasan ardhana, that tibra rati ras will be there. It is there under the lotus feet of Hari Guru Vishnu, and that rati is not there. That tibra rati, that enormous rati will get a manifested inside our heart through sadhu Guru Vishnu, and so much rati is there that by any means he will not leave that. It is written there. whatever uh, different kind categories of uh, uh, lust material lust is there and uh, the different categories of anartha are there types of anartha and types of material lust is there uh, whatever a satsang is there everything it is it will get it will get destroyed immediately it will just get cut from the root it will just get destroyed and completely destroyed from the roots itself all those kind of anarth by sadhu guru vishnu there is one sadhu one sadhu he is not uh, seeing any majority i have already told this point that majority must be this is actually the word of material world in in the life of a sadhu it is uh, not at all applicable in bhajan life sadhu actually whether uh, how much how much uh, man power is there how much the persons are there with me a sadhu actually He is not at all uh, seeing that how much uh, Hari Katha, thousands of people are hearing his Hari Katha. He is not watching that. What? Uh, how many people are there in the team? He is not at all thinking that. Sadhu is all the time what he is saying that who has uh, how much consciousness is developed inside one person, how much uh, increment is there of consciousness inside the heart of of Atma of one person. how much uh, that serving attitude has been activated in one's heart that that all these jeev atma i can just take it in the form of pushpanjali i can give it to the lotus feet of krishna maybe this have some consciousness is increased or not and up till how much point so this sadhu will definitely see this that thakur ji this actually by hearing hari katha by taking diksha and hari naam he just can increase his consciousness i am just giving it on to his on to your lotus feet in the form of pushpanjali i am giving you that is the actual bhav of sadguru sadguru will not think that he is actually how much uh, disciples i have and uh, what has uh, uh, he has done he is all the time actually seeing that uh, those jeev atma actually what i am actually uh, giving hari katha to him by krip of krishna i have just given him seva that how much actually that actually his consciousness is increasing that uh, purna chetan vastu and shri krishna krishna jan the lotus feet he has just given pushpanjali on to the lotus feet of krishna or whether he has just got that eligibility to has got that majority in his consciousness or not up till now so on this ap- apart from satsang nothing is there above that and nothing can be done about uh, done apart from satsang Prabhupada ji actually speaking that this vaikunth word actually it will definitely take us to vaikunth and whatever material word that gram katha definitely it will take us towards hell and shri krishna chaitanya chandra he is actually he will he is giving us vaikunth word all the time to us and he is given us the instruction of doing naam sankirtan all the time to us that's why it is uh, written
What is written? Mahaprabhu actually this is the instruction of Mahaprabhu. Then Sriman Mahaprabhu has descended on this earth from and has given us the Golokvani just so that we can hear Golokvani. Because who has not went to Golok, that bonded Jiva, he don't know about the Vaikunthavani and Golokvani. He can't speak that. Those who have that uh, uh, relationship with Vaikunth, only those people can speak about Vaikunth. Otherwise, other can't speak that Vaikunthavani. In the Jivas, naturally, there is Grama Katha, all those material words, all those material objects, there, there will be attachment in them naturally. And uh, everything you will get rid of by Harikatha, the shlok which I have already told you before of Bhagavatam. And there is another shlok. There actually it is written. Those who are intelligent people, they all the time actually they will leave a satsang and they are doing all the time. They are they are just leaving all temporary topics and all the time they are doing sadhu sang. They always running for sadhu sang. That intelligent person, what he will do? He is just leaving all kinds of a satsang and he is just running for satsang, sadhu sang. Why? What he is doing? He is just leaving a satsang. Why Satsu Sajjita Buddhiman? Because Sadhu actually Please be careful about this point. And Dusanga it is how actually is coming in which form that is a very brief very long discussion in that definitely i'll be speaking two to four words regarding this why because ukti bhi means pravachanadi bhi that's why all those intelligent person they are just leaving a satsang and they are all the time just running towards sadhu sang satsang they always have that desire to do satsang they have that permanent uh, wish to do desire to do satsang they are just in the name of satsang if you are doing a satsang then you will not get any fruit if externally it is satsang only that is not satsang now we have just discussed about jeev goswami pa shloka what jeev goswami pa telling what do you mean by satsang that uh, inside uh, you all kinds of anarth and vyasan they are just cut it from the root they will not be staying inside your heart at all if you are just taking the name of satsang and you are doing a satsang then definitely definitely you will not get satsang but at the same time you will get a uh, you will go in the negative direction so it is good if you are just not doing a satsang and you are just be on the neutral platform that is good it is better at least you are not doing a satsang and okay it is you are coming on a neutral platform but if you will do a satsang then definitely you will get into this fallen condition your degree of consciousness will fall down you will fall down that's why just to leave the sangha you just need to take up sang asat satsang why and now question coming here that it is very difficult to understand that on all the four direction there is in the name of a satsang all a satsang is going on and in order to just uh, do discussion on this if i do daily discussion on that then it will take lot of days why because all the time actually in the name of satsang in the name of satsang actually what kind of uh, all things going on it is very difficult to understand these things very difficult to understand it is not difficult so difficult that even big big uh, intelligent persons who will, they will uh, just get uh, f- afraid of that 
in that taking that decision that uh, in all four direction bhagwat sabha is going all is to go state is going on and kirtan is and going on bandara is going on everything is going on but if we where to go and where not to go that is the actual point this kind of vichar it is very difficult to get very difficult to get why because this is not a normal thing prabhupad actually speaking that if actually in the any person he is getting that desire to get that satsang he had 100% desire to get satsang he has that which are getting that definitely i have to go do satsang only thakur ji i need only satsang tulsi das ji actually speaking this prabhupad actually speaking this point that if you if you need sadhu sang prabhupad ji speaking that if you need sadhu sang if you need satsang then for this you uh, krishna is the actual master of that uh, automatically it will you will not get that on your own efforts infinity sukriti bhakti bhaktan mukhi sukriti after when it is collected there's some in some birth by the kripa of krishna you get satsang it is not a normal thing that uh, in fall for direction in vrindavan and everywhere that is satsang but it is the name of satsang it you are can you just who can understand that it is satsang or a satsang only prabhupad apart from prabhupad nobody can speak that our keshav goswami maharaj param puja pa sirav goswami and all bhakti apart from that no one has this much of power to speak about that absolute truth all the people they are doing uh, they are in satsang very sweet sweet things they are actually doing in the name of bhagavat katha and actually he is not uh, 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 showing us the actual pathway of pure bhakti they are actually not uh, showing us the pathway of pure bhakti not at all they are showing that they are actually just speaking sweet words and they are just want to uh, melt your heart with that and godias also they are so foolish actually they can't understand that they are speaking one shloka of mahaprabhu you see they actually is uh, uh, following in chatana mahaprabhu but they don't know actually that according to this gorya vichar they are having that hatredness you don't know about this that they they are just speaking one shloka of gorang mahaprabhu but that that paratpar actually they are not thinking that mahaprabhu is supreme lord they are actually doing all drama nobody knows that some person actually is speaking one shlok and all the person running f- after that so in all the four direction like this whatever actually is going only krishna knows so whatever is there uh, this satsang actually is not a it is not not a normal thing to get gurudev also have just written one book regarding this uh, just to mars just to give more mercy on us ye yeah, they have gurudev just written one book it's uh, in english it is written heart of krishna in bengali also it is uh, vaishnava prad there is one book in that there are different kind of vichar gurudev has told that how actually uh, we can have dosh darshan of vaishnav aparad and we can just get into fallen condition like this and this uh, thing actually shila rup goswami pad has just uh, talked about in this six number shlok sometimes actually vaishnav we can uh, their in their behavior externally we are just finding that it is actually reverse what is actually doing what kind of things he is doing why he is doing so we find it have some fault in that externally like shankar bhagwan he is sometimes actually uh, just taking parvati mother on his lap uh, sometimes and in not like that sometimes uh, all those pure guru vaishnav are just sitting all rishi muni are sitting there and they know that that shankar bhagwan who is shankar bhagwan they already know that and that's why they are actually not actually careful about that point but when chitraketu rocking chitraketu came there and he actually he is actually god brother of shankar bhagwan because he has just got diksha from sankarshan that mantra diksha from sankarshan 
and Shankar Bhagwan he has Shankar Bhagwan also got from Sankarshan and there in Bhagavatam it is written one prasang that he was just uh, uh, make with joke, joking mood with Shankar Bhagwan that why actually Shankar Bhagwan has taken Parvati Maya is taking her on the lap and just speaking of Bhagavad Katha sometimes it is happen and he is actually Gauri Shankar that's why this all this Drishyamaya Jagat is there and just by seeing that our king chitraketu he is just going on from that viman from that uh, chariot he was just going from that place to some place and he just saw that uh, shankar bhagwan oh my god what is happening that all these rishi muni in front of them he is just uh, in open place all this <laughs> parvati brother was uh, sitting in the lap of shankar why is doing that it's not good so like this there is a lot of vichar actually there Bhusha inside vichar that hai. Shankar Bhagavan actually what actually speaking here uh, Chitra about Chitra what Chitra Kutu has spoken Bhusha Shankar Bhagavan is not actually Bhusha finding Bhusha any Bhusha fault Bhusha because Bhusha it's like a joking between two God brothers Bhusha but Parvati Bhusha mother Parvati just become very angry with this and in this uh, whether some Vaishnava Urbad is done or not if Vaishnava Urbad is there then definitely that when he comes in the form of Ritrasur to speak Bhagavad Gita and to speak Tattva Siddhant, it is not at all possible. That is called Aparadha Bhas. But, <coughs> but there are different kind of uh, in different forms. Uh, if we are just having that external fault, we can find in Vaishnav that can come in us. We What we are just seeing uh, our Guru Vaishnav when they are sitting, eating and in their behavior, we can find some fault externally. There can, that, there can be possibility regarding this. <coughs> but uh, just to find faults in Vaishnav, definitely he will just get destroyed. Because it is there it written in Shastra. Bhani means fire. Fire is very uh, Tejmai. Full of... Uh, flammable and the sun god is very powerful so much uh, uh, shining is there and brahman is also full of shine and raghunath das gopai has uh, spoken this spoken this point regarding this so all this actually but uh, apart from this that is there is one more dangerous thing which is more upon shine that Vaishnav Sadhu means Vaishnav Vaishnav means Sadhu Sadhu means Vaishnav because this Sadhu it is used for Sad Dharma in the market somebody actually according to something they are just speaking but we don't have anything to do with that but this kind of vichar in this actually Vaishnav is all the time is stage my so much power is there is so much power so then it is like Fire can also cannot be compared with that. Sun also cannot be compared with the Vaishnav. Brahman cannot be compared with Vaishnav. So much power is there in Vaishnav. And, and if a, they, if he is doing some Vaishnav Aparad, then as finding fault in Vaishnav, then where his degree of consciousness will go? You can't even imagine. They will definitely go to hell. They will just become like small insects. So in this way, from last two days I am actually just speaking about this point in here actually it is speaking that all those pure devotees and those people actually those who are doing Ananya Bhakti as they, they have just gone to the stage of Ananya Bhakti that platform they have attained up till that when they have not attained that platform of Ananya Bhakti up till that that vichar will not come and those who are no normal devotees though they are actually Kanisht and uh, maybe before down to Kanishta there is no no devotee. Kanishta has three grades. One is preliminary grade, second is secondary grade and last is the la Uttam stage of Kanishta. So these three stages of Kanishta devotees are there. So those who are actually Kanishta Dikari and they have very f in the fallen condition. These actually it is not at all applicable for them those who, for them ananya bhakti is not applicable so ananya bhakti this platform actually it is applicable for uh, uh, before that 
बिफोर दैट वॉट शुड बी द क्राइटेरिया इफ सम दुराचार इज देयर सम अनर्थ इज देयर बी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस पॉइंट इन दिस अनन्य भक्ति ही हैज नॉट गॉट टू दैट प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ अनन्य भक्ति बट बिफोर दैट ही हैज सम सम मटीरियल दुराचार एंड सम मटीरियल मटीरियल दुराचार कैन बी देयर इन साइड इज हार्ट एंड विद दैट इफ ही इज एक्चुअली डूइंग सम साधु संग लाइक दिस देन विद दैट संग यू आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट ही साधु ओनली नो बट यू विल नॉट बी हैविंग समथिंग इन दैट बट स्टिल यू डेफिनेटली हैव टू यू हैव टू फेस द कॉन्सिक्वेंस इट इज रिटर्न इन द शास्त्र दैट विदाउट एनी विदाउट एनी माइंड इफ द चाइल्ड इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू पुट इज हैंड इन द फायर विदाउट एनी थिंकिंग If you are just taking any poison, then definitely the result of the poison you are taking definitely will get that. So, without any thinking, if you are doing any sadhu sangh, then the result definitely you will have to face. Why? Because in our shastra there is not at all any fault in that. Shastra and guru varg already has told everything about that. But still, you are not understanding that. You are not actually thinking that what is actually sadhu sangha and how we have to go with Vaishnav, and how actually before going Vaishnav is going, we should have that fixed darshan. That's why Bhamsi Das Baba Ji Maharaj and to Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj, if someone actually devotees want to go, he just want to take permission from Prabhu Pad. Whether I can want to take darshan of Bhamsi Das Baba Ji Maharaj and Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj, Prabhu Pad actually say no, 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 no. You don't go. You will just be thinking differently. You will be finding faults in them. What they are doing, you can't understand that. And in reverse, you will go find fault in them, and you will just get destroyed. That's why. to have vaishnav darshan before going to the going to have vaishnav darshan what is vaishnav darshan you just have to get pratishthit in that you don't have to take this material darshan of this blood and uh, this flesh and blood if you are taking this darshan this material darshan with that darshan you can't you will go to vaishnav then definitely it will be very dangerous and bhakti no thakur is speaking all the time this one point that vaishnav just uh, just to think in vaishnav and going to a vaishnav and just to think a vaishnav and just going to vaishnav in all these both port points it is very dangerous so what i am actually speaking that this ananya bhakti before getting ananya bhakti if you have that material darshan about that there is some durachar inside his heart and if you will do the sang of that person that finally your consciousness of bhakti will get destroyed your bhakti vritti will get destroyed automatically but uh, those who are bhajan vigya those who are already there in bhajan all the time in that bhakt if you are finding that durachar in him then definitely that will become a prad for you there is actually what is the difference between them you just need to think about that difference that those bhajan vigya these bhajan vigya those who are already there in ananya bhajan on that ananya bhajan platform maybe some uh, before a uh, previous sanskar there can be some fault in that and uh, they have actually their adarsh acharan some is there that which is not normal that is abnormal so maybe you should have you be finding fault in them definitely that it, it will become a prad for you that's why according to prakrit material drishti with material darshan if you will be taking their darshan if you will be just uh, passing some remark regarding that then it is strictly prohibited to do that kyunki why because maybe sometimes in some in the devotees there is some vishuddha ananya bhajan bhav those who are already on that ananya bhajan platform maybe sometimes they have some very rare some defect is there external defect is there but but they are, uh, it is not against their bhajan but whatever ex- dosh is there a fault is there actually it will not destroy their bhajan they are not it is not destructible for their bhajan and and if someone is actually finding fault in that externally then those foolish people for them actually it will become a dangerous aparad for them and they will get destroyed those people 
those who are actually thinking pure devotees who are not seeing pure devotees as a materialistic lot of guru varg has lot of examples are there our guru varg has told us this i'll just give you one to two examples regarding this you can understand this point <coughs> i'll give you one to two examples regarding this be like guru padman actually in front of guru padman shila giri maharaj used to come shri giri maharaj always used to come in front of guru padman and satya govind maharaj also used to come and satya govind maharaj externally you can see he is mad actually externally everyone actually who will see satya govind maharaj he will see, think that he is actually foolish he is mad but actually he is not mad he is just going to that uh, position that condition that uh, uh, external persons can't find him uh, in normal condition one time in yog mit yog pit mandir once time he used to stay in yog pit mandir and then after that he also has come to our math as well and sometimes he stayed there as well one time what happened in the morning he just came running from yog pit very morning early morning time 5 5:30 and he just went to uh, my gurudev uh, room and he just speaking to just dandwa to gurudev actually is god god brother actually maharaj actually today radharani has come uh, in my dream and he was just uh, speaking why you haven't taken sanyas you go you go to puri maharaj puri maharaj is there you take sanyas so i was just getting radharani uh, that's why because i just came to you and gurudev was just uh, laughing actually god brother you are uh, i will definitely give you sanyas i will definitely give you. you will you will stay with me i will definitely give you sanyas so externally actually he is actually mad like i have that uh, my library is at the fourth floor and uh, maharaj actually just coming back after why actually you come upside maharaj you are so old actually is very laughing thing what, what you are seeing what you are speaking he don't know actually he just came one one and a half hour before so he is actually thinking that it is mad he is mad but he is not at all mad maybe he is actually speaking one one thing all the time all the time he is repeating that it think we think that he is actually mad but actually it is not a fault it is not a fault in them sometimes we can see in the acharan of vaishnav that i have seen i have this information regarding the some vaishnav that shila bhakti vali tirth goswami maharaj a amara rishra a aap ye rishra ka math jo hai that rishra math it is actually given to devanand gaudiya math i have just went a lot of time i have just spoken hari katha there now actually i don't have time to go there it very uh, very far away back i was going there for hari katha there is one rishikesh maharaj you haven't seen rishikesh maharaj he is very very powerful externally so powerful no mic actually was there bhakti vivek bharti maharaj sant ko swami maharaj they don't need actually mic for that without mic all thousand people can hear so much power in their voice is there so when rishikesh maharaj actually just come to the temple when actually when parampuja after when madhav goswami maharaj just went away from this material world he was very much old he has this uh, he has this wish desire to eat uh, samosa so bhakti vala tirth goswami maharaj has uh, arranged a very nice samosa for him and just to give to maharaj ji he has just offered it and one by one actually he used to give to maharaj and maharaj used to take that samosa <coughs> and used to take that but if the p- other person will see that definitely he will see the fault who oh, is actually sadhu he is taking samosa so much ha eh? all jalebi samosa is taking but this kind of fault actually you are finding in a vaishnav it is strictly prohibited that shila bhakti vala tirth ko swami maharaj has already shown this in his lifetime okay not to find any fault in vaishnav so like this if uh, according some behavior is there some some he is some vaishnav is taking some more sweet oh he is actually taking so much sweet what kind of sadhu he is so there is some uh, fine fault we find for finding fault in them like ramchandra puri has already find fault in uh, he is actually taken the f- uh, fault in finding fault in gurudev 
he is actually giving upadesh instruction to gurudev why you are actually crying you are actually brahm why you are actually crying so madhavendra puri was just speaking in angry mood he is speaking you you just get out from here you just go to hell i don't want to face if you will see your face all unhappiness will come you just go wherever you want like this and if the guru is just uh, is unhappy then he will not get any place anywhere those gurudev have just uh, left them for them there is no place in this whole material infinity brahmand also if gurudev has just left him definitely his aprad will just increase and where it will go you don't know and he has just find fault that shri chat in chatanya mahaprabhu as well he has just find fault in chatanya mahaprabhu ramchandra puri he has just taking for his fault that why lot of ants are there this sanyasi so greedy actually he is taking sweets ha huh? so greedy definitely he must have taken sweet it's in hidden form why actually it's so much ants are there then so like this actually he actually used to uh, take all the vaishnav speaking that oh you just go take prasadam and uh, he is actually giving uh, give give sweets to him give parmanu to him like this and after eating uh, actually you are vaishnav why you are eating so much sweet so you have so much money you have why you are eating like this so before he will give <laughs> sweets to vaishnav and after that he will be finding fault in vaishnav that is the actual ramchandra puri that is very dangerous and very dangerous so what i want to speak is that both those pure guru vishnu that pure devotees if someone is there is something there some fault is there externally but these pure devotees with the material darshan we don't want to see them with material darshan we just have to see their ananya bhajan we have to see their darshan if there is some fault in them externally or maybe uh, in some pure devotee they have some uh, fault in them and it looks like there is some fault but that is not at all fault that is uh, the prakrit don't have to have that material darshan what is their ananya bhajan we just have to take that darshan definitely slowly steadily i will find my uh, consciousness will go up so that person those uh, they are not actually finding a fault in that and definitely they are seeing the ananya bhajan of those pure devotees definitely they will they will get the kripa of mahabhagwat they will become mahabhagwat himself like mahabhagwat they are don't have that dur durachar darshan so they will also become mukta and they will uh, become a very big sadhu himself as well i have already told that um, mahabhagwat that shuddh shuddh vaishnav if you are taking darshan of them it's very good jo paishit bhagavat bhav atmanah bhutahani hai bhagavati atmanyeva bhagavatatamah kya baat hai what is a sarvabhutesu jo paishit bhagavat bhav what's the point here sarvabhut in this whole material world everywhere he has that uh, bhagavat bhav he is taking darshan of bhagwan everywhere in each and every object he is taking he is taking darshan of bhagwan he is realizing this that in everyone there is bhagwan bhutani bhagavati atmanye atmani esha bhagavatatamah so the, this is actually mahabhagwat in each and every object he has that uh, bhag mahabhagwat darshan and he is just taking darshan of bhagwan in each and every object he is all the time inside his heart he is having that realization that he has no kind of uh, partiality inside his heart that's why those people those persons who are actually they are already pratishtit in ananya bhajan this ananya bhajan they have this kind of uh, uh, thing this time of darshan and okay he is taking too much uh, prasadam and he is taking too much sweets don't need to take darshan of that it is this is strictly prohibited but those who are material bhakt material devotees those kind of uh, faults if we actually find out in order that you are thinking that he is sadhu and you are doing association of him then it is written there 
दैट बाई हिज एसोसिएशन डेफिनेटली माई भक्ति विल डेफिनेटली गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड माई भक्ति वृत्ति विल गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड शीला बन गोस्वामी महाराज ही हैज़ डन ए द वर्क ऑफ अ गुरु दैट इज द एक्चुअल रोल ऑफ गुरु ही हैज़ एक्चुअली नॉट इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड फॉल्ट इन अदर्स एंड इन ऑर्डर टू पॉइंट आउट दैट यू हैव नॉट डन दिस राइटली सो दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस वॉट यू हैव डन इट इज़ नॉट एट ऑल गुड सो दिस प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दे आर एक्चुअली फाइंडिंग दैट ओनली गुरुदेव कैन डू दैट सो दैट गुरुदेव वैन ही स्पीकिंग इट इज़ नॉट द फॉल्ट ऑफ गुरुदेव गुरुदेव विल नॉट फॉल्ट एनी फॉल्ट इन एनी एनी मन बट बट वैन दे आर फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन अस दे आर जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू प्योरीफाई अस दे वी डोंट हैव टू फॉल्ट फाइंड इन फॉल्ट इन एनी वन बट वैन गुरुदेव इज नॉट फाइंडिंग पॉइंटिंग आउट मी देन हु विल डू दैट सो दैट्स वाई गुरुदेव इज डूइंग दैट इन ऑर्डर टू रेक्टिफाई अस सो एंड ही इज नॉट एट ऑल फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन अस देर इज नॉट एट ऑल एनी विश टू फाइंड फॉल्ट सो दोज ऑल दिस गुरुदेव दिट इज द एक्चुअल अधिकार ऑफ गुरुदेव दैट ही इज नॉट एट ऑल ऑलवेज रेक्टिफाइंग अस बाई फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन अस बट प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट वाई यू आर एक्चुअली फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन हिम एक्चुअली आई एम देयर आई एम वर्किंग एज एन आचार्य आई एम देयर दिस इज माई वर्क आई एम डूइंग द वर्क ऑफ एर गुरुदेव आचार्य इट इज ऑल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज ऑन मी आई नो ईच एंड एवरी थिंग सो पर्सन एक्चुअली ऑलवेज थिंकिंग दैट गुरुदेव इज फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट दैट प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दे आर नॉट फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन एनी वन इफ दे आर नॉट फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट एट ऑल दो प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दे आर नॉट एट ऑल फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन एनी वन गुरुदेव एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट इज द एक्चुअल वर्क रोल ऑफ अ गुरुदेव to just give strict rules and regulation in front of us that is the actual role of gurudev that's why those mahabhagwats those vaishnav to do do find faults in them it is not at all good koi agar confusion if someone is in confusion saupad always used to speak that shiddha dasha mein aake pahuncha nahi he actually has not attained that siddha dasha and he is just thinking that he is siddha he has not attained that siddh platform up till now prabhupad used to speak and uh, in this siddh avastha he is thinking that i am always there in that siddh form so when he is have, having this kind of thing in his heart then there will be confusion all the time uh, inside his heart there will be some kind of confusion all the time inside his mind he has that bonded uh, platform he is in bonded platform and he is thinking that he is siddh then definitely in his bhajan देर विल बी कन्फ्यूजन इन हिज भजन लाइक लाइक अ टर्बुलेंट इज देयर इट इज देयर इन साइड द सी इन देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ करंट इज देयर वॉटर इज कमिंग अप एंड देन कमिंग डाउन कमिंग अप कमिंग डाउन इट्स लाइक अ करंट टर्बुलेंट करंट इज देयर सो दोज हु आर एक्चुअली दोज डिवोटीज दोज डिवोटीज दोज डिवोटीज those who are actually are going on the pathway of doing bhajan and they are just going to take the pathway of that shuddha bhakti it is actually all these regular rules and regulations are for them otherwise whatever they want to do they can do prabhupad actually speaking that this those who are already pratishthit in ananya bhajan if you are finding fault in him and you who are actually finding fault in them that is a big aparadh if you are finding any fault in some version of then in order to rectify that it is uh, if they want to rectify that that is a big aparadh means with the material darshan if uh, he is just taking darshan of uh, siddh mahapurush and he is thinking that he is vad uh, uh, and that prakrit jeev is always thinking that he is actually all the uh, all the efforts he is making uh, in order to take have a material darshan even that is a dangerous aparadh so this uh, siddh bhakt what is the difference between siddh bhakt and a sadhak those who are doing sadhan bhakti and bhav bhakti and prem bhakti it is categorized in that what is the difference between these three we just need to understand that and just to give updesh to gurudev that is not at all good to give updesh to gurudev it is strictly prohibited and to just uh, and uh, to 
and from the side of disciple if you are taking some updesh and if some disciple actually is giving some uh, updesh to so guru dev guru prabhupad actually speaking not to take the updesh of disciple that is not at all good so this kind of vichar there are lot of vichar actually there and uh, how and when from where aparad we will get it is a very very uh, uh, difficult to understand maybe knowingly and knowingly we are doing that like pap sinful activities maybe in knowingly we can just be get excused knowing unknowingly if it is done then some excuse and excuse is there but if it knowingly if you are doing aparad but whatever actually connected with bhagwan in relationship with bhagwan like devotees dham naam everything if knowingly unknowingly if you are doing aparad on to that we are actually thinking all the time knowingly and unknowingly if you are doing some aparad then please you just uh, uh, do mercy on me actually guruvar used to speak this that's why we have just learned that and now actually this seventh number shloka i'll be just discussing bhagwan shri krishna that name of bhagwan shri krishna naam adi means bhagwan name parikar form leela dham everything it is there in krishna naam all the time everything is covered in that so in that rup goswami pad actually is making us uh, careful about this इन दिस एक्चुअली देर इज अ वेरी इन डेप्थ एनल डिस्कशन अबाउट दिस रूप गोस्वामी पद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट दैट भगवान श्री कृष्ण इज इज मधुर इट इज रिटर्न इन मधुर अष्टकम फुल ऑफ मधुर रस in the vedas also it is written that bhagwan shri krishna is uh, the other name of bhagwan shri krishna is madhu there are lot of names but one name is madhu madhu means very sweet from all the four directions amrit nectar is going on so this nectar uh, full of nectar this name of bhagwan and leela is there actually we are not uh, getting uh, we are actually finding it very sour we are not get finding it sweet why we are getting it uh, distasteful why because what is the reason there actually rup goswami pad is telling us the vichar rup goswami pad speaking that like uh, like in the life of someone there is one disease called jaundice they it just has happened and uh, that with that uh, yellow fever that jaundice actually that uh, that virus is just getting transformed inside the body and after getting transformed in the body then bile this actually got that uh, got transformed it getting transformed and if it is become more late when you haven't uh, caught that then it will just uh, be going into the liver and will just get killed i have lot things i have seen a lot of people they are actually making crores of money in the lousy crores of rupees millions of rupees he has been making lot of uh, work of platinum and uh, other business he used to do that instrument machinery so he is actually gujarati when he got jaundice we he didn't know and he don't want to eat anything he don't uh, have that desire to eat anything and after that he it was too late for him and it becomes it gone into the sub liver and he just died he was age was just 48 years at that time so the person we don't know it's unknown about their life when they will go away that's why rup goswami pad actually speaking that this sat shri krishna charitadi sitapi this is like uh, a mishri like you know mishri those who are uh, suffering from this yellow fever those who are suffering from this yellow fever disease they if they are taking this mishri which is very sweet if they will just take it in their tongue then they will not be feeling it good they will just be feeling detestful very sore 
that uh, yellow fever this disease they are actually when they are taking this mishri in the tongue they are feeling that it is very detestful sore but the act, what is the actual thing mishri is very sweet but he is actually finding it sore why because he has yellow fever that's why but but this this mishri this can can canbury this canbury slowly and steadily this canbury only when he is just uh, sucking it in his tongue when he is sucking it in his tongue then definitely slowly steadily Uh, some day he will definitely get his this uh, b- disease also has a prevention as well cure as well sugar cane uh, juice is the prevention for this cure for this so this is a very sweet sugar cane so when you have that yellow fever then you he is just finding it very sore but that is the actual medicine for him slowly steadily when he will be using that medicine maybe today or tomorrow he will be finding it very sweet to taste sat krishna nama charitadi sitapi avidta pitto patapta rasanasana rachikanu kintu adurad anudinam khalu shaiva jasta khalu mane khalu means nischit meva definitely but now actually today is finding it sore detestful definitely in the coming days he will uh, using this medicine and he will just be sucking it in his tongue and uh, by that slowly steadily he will Uh, bring back his taste and slowly steadily as his uh, that yellow fever will uh, uh, get in the uh, prevention stage curing stage definitely he will get the sweetness of that canbury definitely he will realize that that is a very nice shlok here what uh, rup goswami pad actually used to speak to us and bhakti vinod thakur ji has in his bhashya in this bhashya he has written and rup goswami pad has also written and in rup goswami in the bhashya he is writing pitter doshe dushto rasanaye avidya pitter doshe dushto rasanaye mata avidya ka that why avidya actually which is actually getting boosted by avidya that rasana is getting boosted this kind of avidya that uh, pit dosh is there inside my body and uh, this rasana is getting transformed in my body that avidya bajas by avidya and uh, i don't have any ruchi in krishna sankirtan so i'll just be speaking bengali first dosh dushto rasana hai krishna sankirtan ruchi nahi hoy nahi hoy hai shito pal pray krishna katha anudin adore sevite ruchi अविद्या this avidya this pit has just got that avidya namak pit that is actually i am just getting uh, getting a disease and uh, my rasna is getting transformed in this and i have no ruchi in krishna naam sankirtan but that sita phal which is very costly that sita phal sita phal means that uh, this is a transformation of mishri that is a topmost medicine that it is uh, just uh, there in the ayurvedic medicine shop that sita phal like actually it is used to treat that used to treat that uh, medicine it is just like a medicine to treat that uh, disease in the same manner this krishna katha and krishna kirtan maybe it, we are not finding it good but it is just like sita phal definitely we have to take it forcibly because it is the treatment of that medic- treatment of that disease with full respect maybe we are not finding it good but still with full respect we just need to take that and most definitely slowly steadily that ruchi will uh, be developed inside our heart it will come back towards krishna sankirtan that avidya the actual mool of avidya is just to forget krishna and to just get into this maya for krishna what we have to do and what not to do he is actually forgetting that कृष्ण संकीर्तन क्रमे 
to do krishna sankirtan slowly steadily that avidya will just get vanquished slowly steadily it will get vanquished and in this uh, in this uh, step by step de- you just need to take the taste in krishna naam and the krishna naam will come back and slowly steadily you that uh, taste will just get increased day by day and definitely we one day will find very good so good that you can't even imagine in the third number shloka what is actually good for uh, the nourishment of bhakti in the third shloka i have already told what are good for the maturity of bhakti it is written there that what are the actual anukul vishay for bhakti and in this third shlok what are actually good for the nourishment of bhakti what it's already written actually with that we will get that we just need to do hari naam uh, of bhagwan according to the sambandha gyan it is written in the seventh shlok in the seventh shlok in the third shlok what is actually good for the nourishment of bhakti which will give us rapid increment in our bhakti it is already written there by shila rup goswami pad already told and what is actually nourish good for the nourishment of bhakti all the characteristics are told there that we will get that uh, nourishment for bhakti so with that along with that when we are just doing krishna naam with the sambandha gyan that is the actual seventh number shlok it is written there so what actually written in the third shlok utsaha means that he is actually coming new to the bhajan he will not be finding it good to do hari naam but still utsaha means that uddam that inside his heart he don't have the desire to do hari naam but he is actually not a, he is not a permanent in that he don't have permanent utsaha so this actually everything which are anukulya for bhakti these things what are told there which are good for bhakti it is there in the third shlok along with that along with that means that what is written in the third shlok that what are actually good for bhakti the characteristics of nourishment for bhakti it is written if you have if our sambandh gyan is getting activated there that uh, about the krishna naam pranali it is getting activated he is just thinking then it is actually written in the seventh number shlok shloka 7 this is actually seventh number shlok it is written there what actually written in the third number shlok about the nourishment of bhakti along with that if he is getting that sambandha gyan uh, activated and he is doing krishna krishna naam with that it is written in the seventh shlok with avidya it is not at all possible to get ruchi in hari naam but when you are actually taking it with full respect with full respect you are taking it and uh, maybe some some actually is doing uh, forcibly uh, i am actually not finding it good to do hari naam but still with full respect he need to if he is doing regularly this krishna naam and naam hari katha and sankirtan definitely this avidya that disease actually will just uh, definitely get destroyed and he will just get that uh, topmost taste towards krishna sankirtan he will get that slowly steadily he will that avidya will just get out and how krishna is so sweet that is full of nectar definitely he will realize that that will just get self manifested inside his heart and krishna roop krishna roop vibhu chaitanya surjer kiran krishna ko this jeev actually who is he jeev is just like the bhagwan shri krishna is just like a chit particle is a chit kan so here actually it is written that krishna roop is just uh, is just like a sun and jeevas are just like the sun rays 
दे आर जस्ट लाइक सन रेज दे आर जस्ट लाइक दैट दिस जीवास दिस इज नेचुरली दे आर एक्चुअली नित्य दास ऑफ कृष्ण नेचुरली दे आर नित्य दास ऑफ कृष्ण बट दिस कृष्ण दास वेन ही इज जस्ट कॉट बहिर्मुख वी डोंट नो अबाउट दैट वेन ही जस्ट कट हिज कनेक्शन फ्रॉम कृष्ण वी डोंट नो दैट वेन ही जस्ट फॉर गेट हिज एक्चुअल स्वरूप वी डोंट नो दैट वेन एक्चुअली ही इज जस्ट फॉर गेट हिज स्वरूप इज जस्ट लाइक दिस चिद पार्टिकल एंड दिस जीवा इज जस्ट लाइक हिज सन रेस and he is naturally he is nityadas in the swarup of jiva it is naturally he is krishna das but actually he is just getting in a distorted form and he just forget that and he has just uh, taken uh, the uh, support of maya so this uh, it is the jivas uh, just have got in the covering of avidya it has just uh, all the jivas just fell just because they just uh, forget that they are nitya das of krishna just by forgetting that just by forgetting that all the jivas actually this maya devi actually just uh, in the form of agyan and avidya is just uh, uh, taking them in their support like it's written in the gita that uh, nadatik sachit papam nachayiva sukritim vibhum agyanin avritam dhyanam teno mujhanti that this avidya this is actually a gyan this is maya so krishna dasya when it is uh, he is forgetting his nitya dasyata of krishna he is just getting into that avidya and with that a gyan uh, maya devi is just uh, taking her in his lap and uh, he has just uh, uh, hundreds of behavior he has just uh, left and uh, he is uh, getting uh, ruchi in the naam sankirtan with that avidya that agyan because of that he has taken shelter of agyan what happened that uh, he has according to their own uh, swabhavs behavior they are actually become uh, they are not at all feeling uh, nice to do naam sankirtan they have just forget their ruchi and they are not at all feeling to do krishna naam how it is possible that it is possible like this that they have just forget their nitya krishna das and they just got distorted from their swarup and because of that maya devi just get their support of maya devi but thakur ji actually krishna actually that chid particle who are jivas he always wanted to take them all the arrangements krishna has given it for all in front of the jivas in the form of shastras in the form of sadhus in the form of prasadam in the form of ganga in the form of tulsi in the form of giriraj maharaj everywhere everything every arrangement thakur ji krishna has just taken and is just made like a trap who will just come here and he will just come to krishna so so all these pure guru vaishnav actually this prasad they are actually getting by the kripa uh, continuously they slowly steadily anudin means every day regularly this krishna naam will just uh, this krishna kirtan and krishna hari katha all the time just by hearing and just by remembering definitely they will just uh, uh, regain that uh, forgetful uh, swarup that forgetful bhav what they have they will definitely regain that like i have just given one example a uh, few, few days back that with the father uh, son has his uh, relationship that father son relationship is there but if son is actually just lost somewhere if some, for 10 years he just got lost in some place we don't he don't know but after that he got the clue that son has become uh, has just got uh, what actually 10 years has gone in these 10 years that uh, father son relationship was actually destroyed nas ho gaya kya it cannot be like that what actually this 10 years that son is actually just getting away from father he is just uh, got lost somewhere so the relationship between father son actually just got destroyed no not possible at all but still that sambandh is there that relationship is there he just got lost still relationship is there so this relationship that's why this kind of prema is there and because where there is relationship where there is no relationship then there will be no preeti 
प्रीति विल नॉट स्टे देयर संबंध इज जस्ट लाइक अ थिंग अदर थिंग दैट इट्स सच अ थिंग प्रीति विल नॉट स्टे एट ऑल आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड प्रीवियसली दैट प्रीति एंड स्मृति ऑल आर एक्चुअली इंटर रिलेटेड टू इच अदर सो फ्रेंडशिप इज देयर बिटवीन प्रीति एंड स्मृति विदाउट प्रीति स्मृति कैन नॉट बी पॉसिबल एंड विद विदाउट स्मृति कॉन्टिन्यूस प्रीति कैन नॉट बी पॉसिबल इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल वाई बिकॉज प्रीति एंड स्मृति आर इंटर रिलेटेड टू इच अदर आर ऑल टूगेदर गोइंग टूगेदर इफ यू विल लीव वन एंड यू विल टेक अदर इट विल नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर अ चाइल्ड अ मदर एक्चुअली गेटिंग द स्मृति फॉर हर फॉर हिज चाइल्ड इफ सम चाइल्ड एक्चुअली गोइंग आउटसाइड फॉर सम एजुकेशन लाइक इन कैलकटा बट इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ दैट मदर ही इज डेफिनेटली दैट स्मृति इज देयर वाई बिकॉज ही इज माई चाइल्ड दैट संबंध दैट रिलेशनशिप इज देयर दैट प्रीति इज देयर सो संबंध ज्ञान एक्चुअली विद दैट एक्चुअली इफ इज डूइंग नाम संकीर्तन इट इज गुड गुड इट्स वेरी गुड सो दैट इज रिटर्न इन द सेवन श्लोका दैट विद संबंध ज्ञान इफ इज डूइंग कृष्ण नाम आदि संबंध ज्ञान मीन्स दैट ही आफ्टर गेटिंग दीक्षा फ्रॉम गुरुदेव that he just got the full kripa of his gurudev if he is just understanding everything that bhagwan is my i am who is who is bhagwan and what i am bhagwan and what is the actual relationship of bhagwan with maya and what is my relationship with maya this all he can has to understand so all these actually this sambandh gyan actually will get uh, uh, get open in front of him and this sambandh gyan when he is doing uh, krishna naam then this uh, seventh number shlok uh, it is written there so those who have just got distorted who just got away those jivas i am just giving one example he don't got his some relationship is there but that child has just uh, got lost somewhere but that sambandh is there with his father so this sambandh gyan actually when just get manifested when if someone actually questioning us that maharaj when we he has just forget his question a question coming when he has forget krishna how he has forget krishna krishna's kavraj go swami writing this answer that anadi means from bhakti mar thakur in jayadharm also writing that it is no starting there is no starting point for that when he just got uh, lost from uh, krishna it is there is no timeline for that it is from infinity time and he is in bonded state he don't have the starting point when he has just got bahirmukh he when he become bonded there is no uh, idea about that no timeline for that that's why all pure guru vaishnav when we are just doing association with the pure guru vaishnav with sadhu sang what will happen uh, means by doing association of sadhu guru vaishnav by the kripa of sadhu guru vaishnav what will happen that each and every day every day we will be just hearing about the kirtan smaran of names of hari and his naam definitely our uh, lost behavior lost swarup will definitely uh, we will regain that that what is the actual duty of uh, me towards krishna that i can understand and then jeev when actually according to his swabhav he is just getting pratishthit in that in his natural swarup then what to speak means that swabhav means when he just get uh, uh, pratishthit in that permanently then he just get pratishthit in that namadi when he is just getting that ruchi inside his heart he is not getting ruchi he is not at all getting a taste for naam but slowly steadily when he is doing naam dham actually he is just getting slowly steadily that ruchi inside that then with that maturity of ruchi he can understand he, he, we should understand that our disease is going and along with that when the uh, ruchi is uh, getting uh, manifested then avidya is getting destroyed definitely you have to uh, feel that and that sita phal which is very fine mishri fine form of mishri that is very much expensive this sita phal this phal this sita phal is i am just giving one example that by this example that by tapt rasana inside uh, with the when the mishri is just getting into the tongue when we have yellow fever we are not finding it sweet 
slowly steadily this mishri only will definitely will find us very uh, sweet afterwards but we should have full confidence and uh, patience if someone is actually doing his own uh, thing then nothing will happen if there is in his heart if in his heart there is some utsaha regarding bhakti that param utsaha not not utsaha param utsaha with full enthusiastic mood with full enthusiastic enthusiastic mood he is doing that and he has that confidence then definitely today or tomorrow it will be done with full patience he is have that patience because maybe after some times if he will just lose patience then definitely everything will be destroyed vishwanath chakravarti shila vishwanath chakravarti has just given one example in relation to that has we given a very beautiful example in relation to this that all these bonded jeevas they don't have that uh, they have become very uh, they just lose their patience oh lot of bhajan i have done up till now nothing has done shila vishnu chakravarti pad has just given a very nice example that vishnu chakravarti pad speaking that they have just lose under the guidance of guru vaishnav maybe he is not getting pratishtit in ananya bhajan at present still he is not at present he is not pratishtit in ananya bhajan okay but still under the uh, anugatya of uh, uh, guru vaishnav he just need to try that and slowly and steadily when he is trying maybe 10 to 12, 20 years it's gone by doing anugatya of guru dev now actually what he is doing he is actually is going good in vidhi mark going well in vidhi mark but now actually his patience just got broken oh no nothing will happen now he is just thinking like this and he is just uh, leaving bhajan and going away love thousands of examples are there like this not one example he is actually there in bhajan but after that after some uh, days maya devi just grab him and after that he just uh, forget everything like sanyas also someone has just he is doing the work of acharya but still has just left renounced order now actually in kapat bhav everything is going on so everything is going on like this so vishnu chakravarti pad actually speaking that like a uh, one bird vishnu chakravarti thakur actually speaking one bird if you are just uh, just uh, uh, if you are just uh, if you are just uh, catching one bird with the steel uh, chain or with the gold chain it is one and the same thing there is no difference that whether you are just catching him with a golden chain or you are just uh, catching him with a steel chain uh, go, uh, sadhu all pure guru vaishnava are just like golden chain with maya they are just uh, catching and uh, all those bonded jeeva are just like uh, are they are caught in uh, steel chain Bond, bonded state is bonded state whether you are just uh, caught in a, a steel chain or a gold chain the thing is the same so vishnu chakravarti tells me okay he, someone is there in bonded state and he is just uh, doing uh, under the guidance of gurudev every bhajan he is doing but what actually is doing this uh, so when he he is not doing that kind of bhajan what he has to do but slowly steadily after some times he is just uh, lose his patience he, oh after nothing will happen but he don't know actually that whatever guru vaishnav under the guidance of guru vaishnav whatever he has done definitely that uh, maya uh, maya trap he is just getting out of the maya bondage some percentage he is got out of the maya bondage bondage of maya he just uh, patience he, he lost his patience but he don't know that that the bondage of maya he was just going towards that and maybe 40% 50% 60% 70% 80% maybe and in any condition he is in that condition he is just cutting that bondage and he is just left his bhajan there so kishme vishwana chakravarti was speaking he don't know actually his 70% his bondage was cut but now he was actually not to have that patience but still he just left his bhajan and just went away like vishwana chakravarti was also speaking that when you are in a steel chain that bondage is there if you want to cut that started cutting that steel chain bondage slowly steadily when you are cutting that when 98% it is already cutted at still 2% left there when at that time 
my bondage is uh, it looks like that it is all the same but still it is 2% there actually i am not free so vishnu chakravarti tapad speaking that he don't know actually this maya bondage is actually is getting cutted but in that same time he is become impatient and just leaving everything this cutting actually is which is going on when that maya bondage is not at all cutted 100% then we are definitely in that bondage of maya that is 100% sure we are not out of the bondage of maya so that bondage is cutted up to what point what he is if his bhajan is process is well then his bondage uh, which will be cut definitely will come in the last stage and when he will become impatient in that and he just uh, leave everything then everything is destroyed then nothing will be done so slowly if he will be patient for some time under the anugatya of gurudev it will not get uh, waste so this in marmanuvad actually this uh, song what shloka i have already told charitadi chetapi avidda pitto patakto rasanasya na rachikanu kintu adurad anudinam khulshayva jushta shad hi karmad bhavati tadguto mula hanti like slowly steadily the disease will get cured definitely he will be finding the to realize the actual sweetness of that mishri so in the marwanuva geet shila bhakti no thakur ji has already written there tumare bhuliya avidya phiraye pirita rasanam hari he tumare bhuliya avidya phiraye pirita rasanam or kisna naam sudha bhalo nahi lage bishay sukhad ho प्रतिदिन जदि आदर करिया से नाम कीर्तन करतीदिन जदि आदर करिया से नाम कीर्तन करी शीतपल जान नासी रोग मूल क्रमे साधु हयोरी दुद्ध दुद्ध आमार से नाम आदर नईल दयाम दुद्ध आमार से नाम आदर शीला सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर शीला भक्ति सिद्धान सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर भाष्य भक्ति में ठाकुर भक्ति में ठाकुर राइटिंग दैट ठाकुर एक्चुअली आई हैव जस्ट फॉर गॉट यू ठाकुर जी आई हैव जस्ट फॉर गॉट यू एंड आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग इन दिस अविद्या सागर ऑफ अविद्या आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग इन दिस अविद्या ओशन ऑफ अविद्या एंड ऑल द रसना ऑल द स्वीट रस आई हैव जस्ट लॉस्ट एंड माई आई एम नॉट माई टंग इज नॉट फाइंडिंग दैट रस बट दिस कृष्ण नाम and this krishna naam i am not at all finding i am not finding it good i am actually getting this material sukh very good but slowly steadily every day if with full respect i am doing naam sankirtan then definitely that sita phal actually is the when it is actually getting the root out of that disease out then definitely slowly steadily i will be finding a taste in your katha kirtan and i will be just feeling that taste again 
and at present in my present condition my luck is very bad that your naam is full of nectar but still i am not getting that ruchi towards naam sankirtan hey merciful lord you just on uh, all those ten, ten kinds of naam aparad is there they are actually also whatever what can happen what next anything can happen so this kind of ten aparad actually i have already told in the bangla bangla katha yesterday as well this ten kind of uh, naam uh, hari uh, naam aparad how they will uh, just uh, go how i can rectify myself i am very much uh, intention hey prabhu if you will do some kripa on me by all those pure guru vaishnav dev if you do some kripa then day by day each and every day this naam sang naam i should all the time with due respect and slowly steadily if your kripa is there then all these aparad will go i will just get ruchi in hari naam and slowly steadily that ras sweetness of naam will come and saraswati ko swami thakur has written one bhashya as well it is very important maybe it is the same but it's very important to hear krishna naam rup gun lila chatushthay upama mishir sah sat tulyo hai krishna naam rup that krishna naam rup gun lila all these four actually it is actually an example there is one example given with the mishri that when we are actually taking mishri in our tongue actually it is not finding today i am not finding it well to taste that mishri which is very sweet because that this tongue actually is finding because of the disease actually our my tongue is in the tasteful condition and that's why it's not finding that mishri to get sweet that's that uh, uh, the taste uh, the taste power of the jiva actually had just uh, got deteriorated and uh, still i am not feeling uh, well today that my tongue is not getting but still by just following the upadesh of pure guru vaishnav that a prakrit gyan uh, definitely by doing hari naam under their guidance all the time naam misri krame krame vasana somiya name ruchi koraibe kollan aniya that that uh, bhakti mr thakur has written has one written one kirtan and shila saraswati goswami thakur this bhashya रूप गोस्वामी पद एक्चुअली हाउ एक्चुअली वी विल जस्ट ग्रेजुअल प्रमोशन इन आर भजन एंड वॉट इज अनुकूल इन आर भजन एंड वॉट इज प्रतिकूल इन आर भजन एंड इन विच कंडीशन why we are not finding it good to do naam sankirtan all these which are actually has just rup goswami pad has just written in this shloka in very beautifully he has just decorated that in this shloka and in this actually it is uh, told by rup goswami pad so like this in anuvrti it is written it is actually compared with mishri so i have already told that jab bhi pehle acha nahi lag maybe it is not we are not finding it well before but shraddha ka sa with full shraddha actually we are taking shelter and if we are just doing our own thing then nothing will happen we are not at all finding it good now we don't have ruchi for naam sankirtan but when we have full faith on pure guru vaishnav with full respect we are following that that shraddhanmita with full shraddha with full respect if we are just doing naam sankirtan under the guidance of guru vaishnav all the time we are doing krishna naam just be just doing that then to me today or tomorrow definitely that krishna naam will bestow kripa on us like we are that sita phal that that disease will get cured and we will just be getting our uh, taste back and those who are actually krishna bahirmukh uttarottar vidila pade gradually 
gradually slowly and steadily he will go towards and his patience will increase and uh, that tastefulness when the disease will go slowly steadily that taste will come back and we will be just finding that the taste of mishri to be back very sweet so those who are uh, krishna bahirmukh uh, we are actually getting into this bonded state for a long time all this vyasan all this bahirmukta towards krishna and this material uh, darshan and material enjoyment oh, i have already told that that this will just get vanquished prabhupad actually used to speak this point that krishna taro vastu that to do collect that is the very chronic disease for all the bonded jivas so each and every person what is doing it is very is easy to speak at the time of birth when i was just born nothing i have just taken it is very easy to speak but when he is actually going at the time of death he will can't even take one pin also everything will go but still he is actually just getting entangled in that nobody knows that that maharaj i have just came in the form of a mutti and i have just Hmm. This kirtan he is very easy to speak, but in to get it in realization by grip of Guru Vishnu with direct feeling, man, it will come. Like actually, Bamsi Das Baba Ji Maharaj, Bamsi Das Baba Ji Maharaj, he actually he just uh, got a birth in fisherman family, and he actually one fisherman actually uh, just be uh, singing one song, and he is just going from there, and Baba Ji Maharaj actually just looking to him with. and so looking uh, baba ji mara actually just hearing and baba ji mara speaking here uh, there is one ghosh of mayapur lot of ghosh are there they are actually doing all rasmai kirtan but uh, he is actually taking all meat and fish but still when he is doing seva of uh, go go seva all doing kirtan of krishna shri dam subal he has that practice but still they don't have realization no they don't have realization So Baba Ji Maharaj, Bamsi Das Baba Ji Maharaj actually speaking. Baba Ji Maharaj was speaking to him that you are actually in Dakai language. He is speaking in the Dakai language. It is a language of Dakai. You are just speaking without any realization. You are just singing. But those who have that realization, definitely his heart has just got broken. Baba Ji Maharaj speaking this very nicely. so with realization it is very important to speak whether you are speaking hari katha whether kirtan is there whether guru vaishnav seva is there you with realization it should be there but because without realization it will not be good this will not be seva with full realization permanent realization it is possible when you have that full realization then only seva is possible seva is uh, possible otherwise it is not possible लाइक अवर गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी मेरा ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दैट वन पर्सन एक्चुअली ऑल द टाइम ही जस्ट वेंट टू इन फ्रंट ऑफ बाबा जी मेरा यूज टू डिस्टर्ब हिम एंड जस्ट टू स्पीक अबाउट द रस तत्व इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एक्चुअली डेफिनेटली आई एक्चुअली आई डोंट हैव टाइम यू जस्ट गो एंड स्लोली स्टेडली वैन ही एवरी एवरी टाइम ही यूज टू कम टू बाबा जी महाराज बाबा जी महाराज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग एक्चुअली आई हैव नो टाइम टूडे यू कम टू टू मोरो लाइक दिस ऑल द टाइम ही यूज टू जस्ट वैन दैट पर्सन बिकम फेड अप दैन ही स्पीकिंग दैन एक्चुअली यू डोंट हैव टाइम एंड आई एम कमिंग टू यू एवरी टाइम यू आर स्पीकिंग आई डोंट हैव टाइम डेफिनेटली आई विल टीच यू Okay, you come tomorrow, day after tomorrow, like this. You are speaking, so he just become angry and just went away from there. And then Baba Ji Maharaj, after that, when he just went, Baba Ji Maharaj just last started laughing, and he speaking that <laughs> he will do raganu ka bhajan. Foolish! If he is actually not finding this one penny loss in his life, this uh, one penny loss he can't even. Uh, all the time, it's just. Uh, 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 just uh, pinning him all the time <laughs> he will do rupanug bhajan you just baba ji mara used to laugh like that he don't have he don't want uh, even one penny loss so much asakti so much at- attachment for that so he can't leave that he will do rupanug bhajan oh, oh my god you just uh, from the market you take gujwan nilmani and all the time you just uh, uh, 
रीड दैट एंड जस्ट रीड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अदर्स फुलिश बट हाउ यू विल गेट रियलाइजेशन यू विल जस्ट टेक यू कैन जस्ट टेक फ्रॉम द मार्केट दिस बुक एंड यू कैन जस्ट रीड दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट रीडिंग यू कैन जस्ट स्पीक बट हु इज हैव दैट रियलाइजेशन ओनली प्योर गुरु वैष्णव हैव रियलाइजेशन only in the market you will get the book but you will got not get the realization guru vishnum had that realization so like this so ye jo shlok hai bada this shloka is a very important shlok that with full in depth discussion should be we should hear that shita avidya pitto padaptar sanasana ruchikanu kintu adurat anudinam kalushayva jushta chadhi kramad bhavati tadgato शिला रूपपात एक्चुअली शिला सनातन गोस्वामी पद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक द गुरु सनातन गोस्वामी पद इज गुरु सनातन गोस्वामी पद ऑलवेज टू स्पीक अबाउट रूप गोस्वामी पद सनातन गोस्वामी पद यूज टू स्पीक अबाउट रूप गोस्वामी पद दैट आई एम वांट टू बी रूपानुक सनातन गोस्वामी यूज टू स्पीक ऑन हिज ओन दैट सी ऑल एवरी पर्सन इवन रूप सनातन गोस्वामी इज स्पीकिंग दैट आई वांट टू बिकम रूपानुक शिला रघुनाथ दास स्वामी यूज टू स्पीक टू सनातन गोस्वामी इट मीन्स दैट आवर गॉडी इज एक्चुअली डूइंग परमानेंट भजन देयर एक्चुअल टारगेट इज देयर दैट इज टू गेट द डस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ द लोटस वीट ऑफ डस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ रूप गोस्वामी पद अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट we don't have any kind of uh, wish or uh, thing is there only that is the only thing and uh, uh, forward we will just whatever will be done it is actually the will of krishna and guru vishnu priyo sarupe daita sarupe prem sarupe sahajavi rupe nijan rupe pabhurek rupe tatan rupe savilas rupe प्रियो स्वरूपे दैत्य स्वरूपे प्रेम स्वरूपे सहजावि रूपे निजान रूपे पबुरेक रूपे तथान रूपे सविलास रूपे मांछा कल्पतुर्वश्य के पास सिंधु विभच पतितान पावन भो विष्णु वैष्णव भ्यो नमो